Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. So it's craft fair season, spring craft fair season, and I am wrapping up some projects for my first show this weekend. And I found these adorable little um, owl lip balms, and they're a little bit taller than like an EOS. So cute. They just needed to be a part of this spring's craft fair offering. So I am going to walk you through this adorable little gift packaging for this little cutie dude. All right, so it is another Cute Crew Punch Box project. So again, if it is before March 11th and you're seeing this video, if you order the Cute Crew Punch Box, which we used for the tag on this little tree box from me using the host code, I'll put the host code on the screen, order the punch box. The punch box includes a six piece stamp set, a four piece watercolor pencil set, acrylic block, basic gray, um, archival ink, all in this adorable little tin. Order the tin plus white note cards. And uh, I will send you a free class, six cards. You'll use your note cards and your punch box that you order with the host code to make six adorable cards of course with a full pack of note cards and envelopes you can just keep on going but these first six designs i'll send you online classroom so you'll get a video for each project sheet for each card and then in the mail i will send you the kit we'll show you how to use your cute crew punch box punch in five different ways and it's just my thank you gift for getting on board with the crew, cute crew punch box in March. Another note, the punch box plus the note cards equals a free celebration item. So why not get the cute crew punch box while you can get a free celebration item and a free class to get you started using it. All right, so back to our little box here. You see little tree box. For this particular project, you'll need your cute crew punch box. Um, let's see, a one and a quarter inch circle punch, one and a half inch circle punch. Now for my tree tops, I used the Tree Builder punch, and this is currently on a Stampin' Up! clearance rack. So if you don't already have this dude, you can pick this up for like $10 and change. Another alternative might be the Pretty Label punch. Use the pretty label punch to do your tree top, and I think that would look pretty awesome too. But this one for 10 bucks is a great deal while it lasts on the clearance rack. MarissaAlvarez.stampinup.net is where you can shop. All right, I've also got my seaside embossing folder. My Stampin' Pad for this project, we're just gonna use our Memento Tuxedo Black. I've got a few Stampin' Blends for coloring my owl. I've got Balmy Blue. Call Me Clover, those are the combos, and the light soft suede. Now for cardstock, I've got Scrap of Whisper White, and I already from Call Me Clover punched three of these little tree tops. All right, so those are already punched out for you. Maybe I should have tried one with my pretty label punch this time around. Now for the base of the box, I've got Early Espresso, and these pieces are nine and a half by two and five and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Let's get the score, the Simply Score tool and we'll put some score lines in this and start to build the base of our box. So we're gonna start with this two by nine and a half inch piece and we're gonna put it in the nine and a half inch side and we're gonna score it at three and three quarters and at five and three quarters. That's it for that one. And then we've got this little dude right here. We're gonna put this guy in on the two and seven eighths inch side and we're gonna score at one half and we're gonna turn it score at one half. Now when you do this you get an equal half inch no matter if your paper's off a little smidge or a little um, crooked and then so we're gonna keep up with that half inch because we want a half inch deep. We're gonna do half inch and half inch. So now we're all four edges scored. The next thing you're gonna have to do is slide your five and three eighths inch side half a mark, a sixteenth of an inch. You just wanna slide it so that 
it's halfway between the three eighths and the one half mark, okay? Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and score your box. Now you're gonna score the box at two and a half and at three. Now let's work all these score lines with our bone folder. Okay, everything's been burnished. Let's take our paper snips. We're going to cut this little square at the end out completely on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna work away from us and we're going to trim out the score lines on these next two scores. And same thing on the opposite side. Just trim out the little fold line. It'll keep everything nice and tidy when we fold up the box. You just take a little dart and then continue working away from us. We're gonna do the same thing at this very last tab. Just take out the score line. Okay, now for a little punching. Okay, so we're gonna take our one and a half inch circle punch and this part of the box here where you cut the tabs out, you're gonna put this in till it stops and using the score lines right to left here, you can center. You're gonna pop out a little, a little hole. Now with the one and a quarter inch punch, you're gonna punch the front of your box about an inch from the bottom. And again, you want to watch your edges here to get centered right to left. Now you got a little place for Owl to peep out. All right, our boxes come in together. Let's grab some tear and tape adhesive and put together a little throne for our owl to sit in. There's all the little tabs. All right, so the adhesive is off the small tabs. We're gonna bring those up and make the corners of our box. And then we've got these longer pieces of adhesive here. And that will secure the top of our box. So fold over and adhere down. Good. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these a little bit bigger craft glue dots and just pop him in with a little glue dot. I don't wanna be picking him up all over town. All right, set him aside with the treetops and let's grab the big shot for a minute here. Did you know that the seaside embossing folder can also look like pretty cool tree trunk, tree bark? I'm going to pop the front of my tree box into the seaside embossing folder. We're gonna emboss only to that first score line over our little um, peephole. Got no thin die adapter in there. Let's just crank this through and get some texture on our tree. Look at that, pretty cool texture, huh? Looks like wood grain. All right, some stamping now. We need Memento Tuxedo Black ink scrap of whisper white and here's our little owl from the cute crew punch box I'm just loving this so quick for little gift tags little note cards just a cutie little owl on the branch wait till you see how quick it colors up just gonna run a little bit of soft suede on the branch Leaves are call me clover. And I do just light with a touch 
of the dark at the base. Barely any. This is very little shading. Just make it look professionally done, that's all. And then Birdie's body, I've got balmy blue here. And I'm just gonna color in, avoiding the eyes. And to give him just a little bit of texture where his little butt is speckled by the artist, we're gonna go ahead and just speckle along the back of the little bird and touch where his beak is. Now, to soften that speckle, speckle over with the light. That's it, colored cute. I love this tag punch. Just line that dude up and punch him out. are nearing the end here. Now, you can get the um, tear and tape again, and we need a 1 8 inch handheld circle punch. I'm gonna put a little tear and tape on the bottom of this box. I like two strips of it. We want it to be secure. And we're going to center the box in between the two score lines. And you'll see the box is just a bit smaller. Look at our little owl, it's got people. All right, little punch in the top of the tag, 1 8 inch. Now you can take a little bit of tear and tape across the top of the outside of the tree and just a tiny bit in the corners of the inside of the tree. You could do this part with um, maybe a little fast fuse or some liquid glue. Now I peel off that tear and tape. We're gonna add the bottom layer of our tree tops. Then come in with the 1 8 inch circle punch. We're going to Punch hole, slide over maybe three quarters of an inch. Punch another hole. I have some uh, Emerald Envy Taffeta ribbon that I got off of the clearance rack not too long ago. The Call Me Clover 1 8 inch grow grain would be perfect for this too. I'm out of the Call Me Clover 1 8 inch grow grain. I have to add some on the next order. I had to dig deep for this, but it looks good. So I loop, threaded the ribbon from the front to the back, from the back through to the front. We're gonna get a dimensional, a little half of one I'll do. Add this extra little tree top. And give our tree some height. And then I'm going to tie the ribbon, slide over, slide the tag on the bottom, just through one side. Now here's where things, you want bow with the tails up and the ears down, you gotta follow this instruction. So you're gonna lift the bow, the loop up, and you're not twisting, you're just fold it over itself and pinch. Then you bring over the top, fingertip to fingertip and pass that through and pull. When you pull, you've got your bow, ears up, tails down. Just tighten that, give the bow a little finesse. Look at that little cutie. And he's all done, ready to go off to market. All right, let me grab my ribbon scissors here. They're a bit sharper. And we'll just from the excess. And there he is. What a cutie, huh? All right, found a little purple dude. Got any questions about the Cute Crew Punchbox offer, how to get a free celebration item and a free class to get you started. If you've got questions about the project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. If there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, just reach out. You can shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, marissaalvarez.stampinup.com.
www.thepeacekeepers.net. Thanks for watching.